make sure to grab a drink, tie your laces, fix your face, catch a breeze, and get ready because it's about to go down. Let's go! What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the podcast. We are talking about UFC 237, the main event, of course, is going to be Doug Rose Namajunas versus Jessica Andrade. And we're going to talk about the... No, we're not going to talk the breakdown. We're just going to talk about the fights. Um, so let's get into it, man. Um, the uh, 237 is in Brazil. Um, so I know I've been talking about Doug Rose for going to Brazil and how Doug that is from her to go down there and defend her title. And um, I just think it's a real good move, man. I can't wait to see what happens there. But for the rest of the card... It's not too exciting. I'm not going to lie about it. It's not really an exciting card for a pay-per-view as well. So we're going to get to the fights. Um, there's no really that much fights that I want to talk about on the prelims or the early prelims. Um, of course, you got BJ Penn and uh, uh, Clay Guida, but I don't want to talk about that. Um, I mean, not even the fact that BJ Penn is still fighting, but... You know, BJ Penn's going to have all these accusations and all this kind of stuff with his uh, marriage and disputes and all that kind of stuff with his kids and everything. So, uh, I just don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it at all. And just BJ Penn fighting is, don't even want to talk about it. It's untalk worthy. So, we're, gonna, we're just going to, we're going to pass that. Um, but the main event is, you know, it is what it is. It's not that exciting. There's only a, maybe a couple fights I'll probably be ready for, you know. Of course, it's the main event and uh, not the co-main event, but the fight before the co-main event, which the co-main event makes zero sense. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to get into it, but let's just talk about the fights that we got here. I'm looking at this fight card, and we got uh, the first fight we have on here is uh, Francisco Trinaldo versus Carlos Diego Ferreira. And that fight, you know, Francisco Trinaldo is a really good fighter. He's a vet. And, um, you know, this whole fight card is Brazil, right? And it's all for the Brazilians. This is like for the Brazilians fight card, right? So, not really mad at that, but it's like I said, it's not really exciting. So, if you are a Brazilian and you like these kind of fights or you like Brazilian fighters or anything like that, this is your card right here. Um, but I'm not really excited about it. So uh, with this first fight, I think we'll take uh, Carlos Diego uh, Ferreira for the decision win. Uh, the next fight is Tiago Alvarez versus, uh, how do you say that? Uh, Loreno, Loreno Staropoli. I'm going to say it like that, Staropoli. Whatever. What can I do? But that's the next fight. On there, and uh, don't know much about Staropoli, um, but I do know Tiago Alvarez, and we also know that he has uh, trained with the interim champ Dustin Poirier, and you see where he got him there. So maybe he took some, not pointers, but maybe he took some stuff out of that, uh, you know, how to fight, you know, people like that. So, and you know. Tiago Alvarez, man, he's he's a veteran of the game too. So I'm going to pick him for the decision. Go ahead and do that. The next fight, which I think should be the co-main event, is Jose Aldo versus Alexander Volzanowski. Um, with Aldo, I mean he is the second best featherweight in the world right now. Um, he's the goat of the featherweight division, goat in the uh, the UFC of all his wins and everything uh and he's been winning a couple fights as well i think he's on his uh two week two two fight win streak um because he beat um the last win that he had uh is with um i forgot who it was with i think it was ronaldo or something like that i don't know but anyway no it wasn't Ronaldo. It was somebody else. anyway whatever i'm gonna probably cut that but anyway <laughs> This fight with uh, Aldo and uh, Alexander is going to be a good fight, man. I, I, I think this, this this is one of the fights. This is the first fight I'll probably be like ready to see. You know what I'm saying? Ready to um, check this out. And with Aldo, you know, he still has it. He's still there. So I'm going to ahead and pick him for the win. I'm going to ahead and pick him for the uh, decision. Um, I think it's going to be a split decision, but I think Aldo is going to take it. And I don't know 
when is the last time we've seen Aldo lose in Brazil? I don't remember. Uh, comment and let me know, uh, or you know, hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. My Twitter is Zoe or Truly. I'll put it down. And also, my Instagram is Zoe Podcast One. And let me know if uh, Jose Aldo ever lost in Brazil. I don't think so. But I'm not going to pick him. I'm not going to not pick him when he's in Brazil right now. So picking Jose Aldo for the win. He's going to stay at the top, uh, and nobody's going to, you know, really fight for the belt because we know Aldo was not going to fight for the belt. He already got beat by Max Holloway twice, and there's nobody else there. So we'll see what happens in that division as well. And then the next fight, the co-main event, is uh, Jared Cannonier versus Anderson the Spider Silva. Now... Anderson Silva, of course, is a vet. Everybody should know who Anderson Silva is. If you know MMA, you know who Anderson Silva is. Um, with his last fight with uh, the the other interim champion uh, from that same fight with uh, Tiago Alvarez is trained with, um, that fight was it was entertaining. It is what it was. You know what I'm saying? I don't think uh, Israel Adesanya wanted to like knock him out or anything like that. It just wanted to go you know tit for tat and you know, have a little uh, exhibition kind of thing, you know? So with that being said, uh, Alexander, Alexander, um, <laughs> Anderson Silva uh, is still fighting. We don't know why, because he's never going to get back to the top position that he was in the rankings. He's never going to get a title fight. Uh, even the fact that he was talking about Dana White is going to give him the title fight if he beats Ezra Adesanya was kind of crazy. But the dude is a legend, and we got to respect our legends, right? But I don't think he's going to win this fight. I don't think uh, Jerry Cannonier is going to lose to Anderson Silva. I think Anderson Silva um, is uh, definitely uh, too old, if I should say. Um, I think it's, it's time for him to, to hang it up. Um, and not because he's been beat up so many times or anything like that. I just think it's time for him to hang it up because, you know, just go out gracefully. Um, maybe he comes out with this win and, get, and, and wins there. Uh, and goes out then, but I just want him to retire. I just want him to retire and not with a, like a devastating loss that I think uh, Jared Cannonier is going to give to him. I think Jared Cannonier might even knock him out. I, I mean, there's no other way. Uh, if he doesn't knock him out, at least the second round, because I'm picking him, I'm picking Cannonier knockout second round. But he doesn't. If he doesn't do that, if he doesn't knock out Anderson Silva, or if he doesn't have a dominant win against Anderson Silva. Kenny, what are you doing? Uh, I think it's going to be strictly because of the respect that he probably has for Anderson Silva, uh, which everybody does, you know. But this whole thing about fighting somebody with respect and, you know, you, you don't want to, you know, injure them even if there's a fight and all this kind of stuff, you know, I'm just done with it. That's why I want Anderson Silva to retire, so... Like I said, I think Kenny is going to win knockouts. It's, it's, it's hard to say knockout. Uh, with uh, Anderson Silva, but he might win knockout the second round. That's what I'm picking. And then we got the main event, which one I'm really excited about. This fight I'm really excited about. The Probably the only fight out of the whole fight card that I'm really excited about, and it makes absolute sense to have this, even though it's in Brazil, but we'll talk about it. We, we already talked about that. Um, Doug Rose Nama Yunes versus Jessica Andrade. Now, like I said, they're going to Brazil, Jessica Andrade is from Brazil, and it's just one of those things that, you know, how, did, how does Doug Rose, you know, benefit from this, right? Um, but that's who Rose is. That's how, how she fights. You know, she's very, um, unorth she's very unorthodox, you know? So I think just going down to Brazil, it just speaks to how unorthodox she really is. And with this fight, I think it's going to be close. Um, I'm gonna have the gameplay on the channel too, so check that out on the on the channel for the gameplay. Um, but I think it's gonna be close. I'm am picking Thug Rose Nama Yunes. Thug Rose, because with with the striking and the distance, because she's a little bit taller than um Jessica, she has a little bit more reach than Jessica. Um, so I think that's gonna play a part in that. Now Will the wrestling take into play? Jessica Andrade has some good wrestling. She has some powerful wrestling. Powerful hands. So if she does hit Doug Rose, 
it might be light sound. You never know. But, you know, Rose has been through it. Rose has been through it. She's a champion. She's, she knows how to do it. She doesn't, she doesn't go through this stuff. Um, she's fought, um, you know, Yoan Young Jacek. She had power in her hands. Um, and Yoan Young Jacek uh, actually beat uh, Jessica Andrade. But Jessica Andrade is a different beast, man. Uh, just because uh, Rose beat Yoana and Yoana beat uh, Jessica, I don't, I don't say Rose is going to beat Jessica. Just like that. I mean, the, the MMA math don't matter up at all. At all. So, but I am picking Thug Rose. I think uh, she's going to have her distance. I think she's going to keep her distance and get those strikes upon her. Maybe get her a little bit frustrated. And I think it's going to be a submission in the third round. I think I'm in the third round. I think I'm finishing on third round. No, actually, no. Second round. Second round submission. Thug Rose Nama Yunus. She's going to beat Jessica Andrade. If that doesn't happen, I'm not mad because Jessica Andrade is a beast. And I don't even know who's going to beat her if she wins. But that gives back into Joanna Young Jacek coming in trying to get the title back. So it's going to be fun if, you know, whoever wins. So I, I can't wait to see the the um, the outcome from this fight. But I am picking Thug Rose, second round submission. Don't know what kind of submission, but I think it's going to surprise everybody with a second round submission. So that's the picks I got for today, man. Oh, uh, man, go check out UFC 237 um, if you want to. Uh, just... Mostly for the for the um for the main event. Let's check it out for there. But also check out the gameplay that I will have for UFC 237. Only the main event because I'm not messing with anything else. It's gonna be crazy. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below if you're watching on our YouTube page and let me know what you guys think about the picks. And if you are listening on my podcast, make sure to hit me up on Twitter. That's Zoe Yours Truly. I'll have the description in description i'll have the name in the description <laughs> uh check me out there and also hit me up on instagram at zo podcast one and also hit me up on my um who's, who's texting me whatever and also hit me up <laughs> on my website that i will have in the description as well take it easy y'all enjoy the fights and i just can't wait to see what happens in this fight man y'all take it easy peace